not like the eating. That's what Lou feels like to me. Oh, there we go. Okay, they're starting. But I never know. I could be wrong. Now, I do know one of the matchups he does not practice is this one. I don't know why. I think sometimes he'll just, like, lose to one guy and focus on it for, like, three months. Yeah. So, like, if he loses once to JoJo, he'll just be there for a bit. Even if he loses to Fox. So, I don't know if he got here on, like, the rotation. And I'm really worried looking at this. So, Lewis, um, he's got that, like, you know that thing, like, top player privilege where, like, they, they when you play against them, you feel like you need to do things that are out of your comfort zone just to beat them, and you play worse because of it? Yeah. Like, Lou's in that boat where he, like, respects Fox so much that he's going to start buffer rolling. He's going to do all this weird stuff he doesn't normally do. Um, and I saw him buffer roll once, and Slox called it out the first time. So it's, yeah, it's yeah, scary yeah. when they pick that up on that so soon in the set. Yeah, exactly. I totally feel that. I played him in a best of five recently because he wanted to practice the beach matchup. And one thing I told him was just, like, he needs to play closer. Like, he has to not be afraid to scrap. And I think, like, sometimes if you think your opponent, if you respect your opponent too much, and then they'll have all this crazy shield pressure, you just roll instantly. Yeah. Instead yeah. of playing the mix-ups with like air and a shield, spot dodge, wave that kind of shield. Yeah, yeah. There, there's definitely a layer of need to respect less in order to actually represent other options, right? Right. Another fun drinking game at home for anyone watching is every time Lou messes up Texaco, look at his face. And if he made me grimaces, then he has to take a drink. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> it happens a lot. I wish this camera this case was on camera more, but... I know. If he rules weirdly, he'll furrow his eyebrows. It's very funny. I'm so excited to see it. But okay, let's see. So Slox is doing a really good job of staying underneath him. He's got a reversal that, right? And the thing that Lou is really good at capitalizing on, and most cheeks, I'd say, at like the mid to high level, um, are really good at is like if you mess up your ledge calls, like your your basic tech skill, like you'll just get near to shield, whatever. But Slox is so tight in his execution that like it really forces Sheiks to make good proactive decisions, right? Mm. And Particularly on the ledge, you think? Uh, what would you say? Because you were talking about tournament winners, like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tournament winners, like just lots of stuff that you won't see Slox do very often. Like, he just is just a very precise fox, and that's something that's hard to get practice with, right? Even some very good foxes don't have that kind of precision. Right, right. Lewis Tech Chases. Okay. Okay, call out the Wake of Shine. Okay. Okay. That's something that I think many Sheiks need to work on is like when you dash tech, like he knew that he was gonna attack in time. But like you need to differentiate in your head like what you hope will work and what you know will what you think will actually work if that makes sense, right? Like he knows that dash tech fair is not gonna work, so he has to cover the roll to the left. Right, right. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Like it's kinda like or like you just kinda have the backup plan of like what happens with this option. Yeah, right. exactly. Nice. Oh my god, he's reading. Oh my god, he knows I'm watching. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. I'm oh, just messed up a little, but still makes it work. Okay, I thought he was going to do the nair to cover when he misses the tech, but... Dude, he is dash he's attacking. He's, yeah, it's, it, he did that fair earlier. That should have definitely been a hit. He's playing really good so far, like, keeping it super, super close. Try to execute the special edge that. So now the question is, like... But the problem now is Slox and Luke both know exactly what he's looking for. He's looking for, like, forward tilt fair, right? Like, these easy edge guards. And now, like when your when your brains are lined up like that, it's so hard to get a cheesy kill. Like he's gonna have to work for another 30, 40 percent, and then get a little fair fair. Because Slox right. is so good at playing around for tilt, etc. Right, right. Yeah, it's kind of like that thing. It's like the only things that kill are only a handful. So now you gotta make it. Yeah, ambiguous. exactly. When you don't have a lot of things to make it, but you win. Right. It's like the same thing with like Fox Puff, where like sometimes you actually don't want to get past like 70 percent because you lose a kill option when you get to 90. Right. You can't up up anymore. Yeah. So you actually just want to float that percent so you represent both all the time. Anyway, he's dead. Yeah. Um, I like mean, I, I said, think that's a cool way of like categorizing like essentially the idea of like Mark Artis, where it's just like anything can be a kill move now, so it just makes it kind of weird to be a big... Or it's like, there's only a select thing that, like, true kills. Yeah. So then everything becomes weird. You yeah. really have to trick them at a higher percent. Whereas, like, before it's just like, if you get this one juicy one, that's all you have to worry about. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Lewis has some tech faces. This is, I think this is stream nerves, or when he plays tournament, his tech face percentage goes down about 80%. Oh yeah, That's I mean, a terrible percentage for it to go down by. Oh yeah, I like, think people completely were like, there was that time where it's like, oh yeah, you know, she reacts to that. I was just like, it, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. It's just so hard. Yeah. 
Nice, that was a great fast backer. Fast backer, a really good option against foxes that like to just drill mindlessly. Um, so the super save, you can fade it back and a little space for it. You can trade overall. Why don't yeah, fair with that? Oh, no, he's he he not. He messed up his like, snap. What's that? Yeah, snap properly. Nice smash guy, though. That's definitely a lab for sure. Something that's not intuitive. Nice back here. Sorry. Need a commentary. <laughs> totally fair. You see, like that, I feel like he shouldn't roll immediately. Like, oh. like he didn't press his ledge dash, but it was good. Yeah. And there's another problem too, where Luz being overly respectful, he's always dipping super low to respect the jump out, and then Slock just hard reads it and goes all the way down to that shine. Right, right. I definitely see the over respecting coming up a lot. Oh my god, oh. no, not a lack of this. Yeah, even there, like he jumps out immediately, it's like I would just wait a little bit. No. Nice up right. there. Okay, great, re grab. Hold that out. <clears throat> Every fox oh. is the same once you grab them. It's true. <laughs> Every fox is the same once you grab them. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Catch them before the tech. Beautiful. And he's oh, got to respect that ledge dash. He's, he's, he's doing that thing where he's, he's so used to playing mid-level foxes where he's like, I can pressure right, right, right there, there, but it's never going to work against someone like Slox. Yeah, he hasn't missed one ledge dash. Like, if anyone went home, like, go watch a set with a, a top fox and a top cheek. The cheek will be stepping back like 6,000 feet. Okay. I need to bite my tongue because it works, but it shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at, at this point, it's like a uh, minority. We are losing more percent than you're winning. Yeah, by exactly. Uh, it just stays there. Stone. Oh, that dash attack. Oh, my God. No jump. Oh, that turnaround laser. Oh, my God. He's so dirty. <laughs> That's it. That was crazy. And I love that Foxes are putting into F smash because everyone's trying to opt attack. So yeah. it like, kills you if you try that. Yeah. Out of here. Stop trying to be good. Nice job reset. Nice. Sorry, man. Just the roll out, though. Here, let me switch. Bro. Yeah, re-grab. Okay. Come on, Louis. Dead here. Nice. No, this is, this is the same thing, right? Like, you lose so much mileage when you go for that. Ah, uh, that was a greedy pair. I think it, like, he already lost the situation and he forced it anyways. Yeah. Ooh, That's the it. fire yeah. burn. Well played. Damn. Great set. Yeah, that was a good set. Played pretty clean from both sides.